Hey there, in today's video, I'm gonna be pressing on a t-shirt. I'm gonna be using four colors and the heat transfer vinyl that I'm using comes from Heat Transfer Warehouse. So let's get started. The first one's gonna be Caesar Sparkle Grapevine. And the second one is going to be Wallet Cut Express Bright Red. And the third one is going to be Caesar Twinkle Light Green. And the fourth one is going to be Brown Glitter. The only one that's not glitter is the red one. The yellow I'm just using kind of as a guide. I want to see what it's going to look like when I, if I only peel this. Because I want more blue than I do this being empty. Because I have green here, I want the leaves to be green. So I'm going to delete that and bring in a different rose. This is a one solid, it's going to be a square, even though it is, it is an SVG file, see it's just a square. So I'm going to come up here to the little slice of toast, which is the um, trace panel, and then I'm going to click trace, select the rows, and I'm just going to trace it. I know a lot of you already know this, but for those that don't, that's why I keep repeating it. So I'm going to delete that. I don't need it. And here it's going to stay one piece. So I'm just going to right click. Release the compound path. And since everything is highlighted, I'm going to hit shift and just grab these two. And I'm going to right click and, and group it. So I'll show you what I, what I did. And so the rose is going to be red. Oh, you know what? That needs to be brown. <laughs> I'm going to ungroup. And I'm going to select that to make it so that it's not a part of this. Right click, group. So I'm going to do, uh, I think this is grapevine. I'm sorry, this has been a week later on the video. A grapevine, green, um, red, and now brown. This is a roses or red, violets or blue rhyme. And because I can't uh, figure out how what I wanted to say, I'm just going to fast forward and not bore you with all the details. I made some changes. I went ahead and I removed the yellow. I am going to go ahead and cut this and just remove the insides. I'm using the offset to make it thicker and bolder. Because this is open, I want this to be to look the same pretty much or to have the same effect. This is my final. Roses are red, violets are blue. You're always in my head, so I made this for you. So let's go ahead and get to the cutting. I'm not going to show you the cutting, but I'm going to show you the final. So I'm just going to let, it's at 228 right now, no big deal, I'm checking my pressure. I'm going to use 305, 12 seconds, I want to make sure I got my center line. I need a little bit more, okay. So I think we're good. So this is a v-neck, I usually do two to three fingers for v-necks, depending on the size. And this is an extra large. Gilded in heavy cotton, so I um, think I'm going to do three fingers only because it's an extra large. Okay, so the first layer is going to be hope that's not too bad for you. Nope, 
just want to be able to see what the heck I'm doing. Okay, so I'm just going to tack it. So I don't want to put too much heat on it. So I'm going to tack it. And I'm going to use a Teflon sheet. Tack it for maybe four or five seconds. Beautiful. And then, roses are red. <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I was supposed to cut that off. Okay, I'm going to keep it real. I made a boo boo. When I cut the red, I forgot to remove the bottom. Section, so I had to recut it. The bad part is the VLR, some of the red uh, stained the shirt. I don't know if you can see it on the video. Probably can, but you can see where it's stretched and it's stained right here, right here, right there. And you don't notice that on colored shirts, but you will on white. So I'm gonna go ahead and start piecing everything together. I'm looking behind my screen here. Yeah, I'm gonna do these first. I can't believe I did that, but it does happen. I want to make sure this is straight as well. <clears throat> so I'm just going to kind of use this as a guide here really quick, actually. Perfect. So I just went from the top of the edge to the bottom of the letters. So I'm just going to go ahead and press that really quick. Actually, I'm going to add this. <laughs> I can't believe I did that. So I'm going to go ahead and cover it. I'm going to do the stems last only because I don't want to have to do it. I don't want to put it underneath and risk it getting stuck under one of the violets. So I'm just going to tack it down for about four seconds. We're going to remove one, two, three, four, five, all right, so this is going to be the final. I think I should have done it this way because there's nothing in the middle. Maybe I'll get a heart, put it there. I'm not going to do that for too long. Okay, everything's down. I'm going to show you the shirt. I, <laughs> I can't believe that I did that. So, you know, I'm going to show you the shirt. Okay, so here's the final. And it did not, it doesn't look like it left any of the little flakes or the little glitter shavings or whatever around. So that's good. But it does have a nice little texture. This one doesn't. It's just smooth. This is smooth. But this does have a texture to it. And I'm not sure what kind of glitter that was other than it was this gold uh brown or gold glitter. The tree heat transfer warehouse does label all of their vinyl, so I may have removed and thrown away the label by accident. Here you'll see a couple of red stains. I'm going to go ahead and add some hearts, see how it looks, just so I can cover up some of the stains. Here we go. 
12 seconds. Well, of course, uh, ouch. Of course, I'll get you a close up. Here's a closer and better view from the outside. Everything came out super nice. The hearts were in beautiful addition. Heat Transfer Warehouse, thank you so much for the freebies. Everyone, go check out Heat Transfer Warehouse. The link is below. That's all I have for now. Until next time.